Do you want to know how a tomato can have an impact on the prefrontal cortex of your brain? Okay, I'm going to tell you. But first, a little story. When I was a director in the company that I worked for when I in my, in my 30s, I loved, 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 loved being able to feel busy because it made me feel so important. I used to back to back to back meetings all the time and used to run around from conversations. And by the way, back then we had conference calls and I would log into these conference calls or I would jump into um, these in-person meetings and I needed to see my calendar just filled with all these meetings. Ultimately, though, one of the things that I found is that I was always running tired. I was exhausted. I just didn't seem to be able to get myself together at times. Other times, I also felt that I was not being very productive, and I started to see the result in that. I did a lot of grant writing, and I noticed that my concentration between my meetings and when I tried to jump in to write grants was not very good. And also my output of work was terrible. I was having a hard time learning new skills as well. Excel and all these other programs were a myth to me. And basically I told myself that it was too hard that I couldn't get it. And thank God I had an assistant for them to do the stuff that I needed done. Now, it didn't go very well for me. Because ultimately what I was doing is I was multitasking. And many of us think that multitasking is a badge of honor, which is really what I thought back then. The fact that I could be in a meeting and also typing something or that I could be working on one thing and then I would go to the next thing. The reality is that I wasn't doing that at all. The reality is that I was switch tasking. Our brain can only do one task at a time. It is a misconception, right? A misconception that multitasking is possible. What we can do is monotasking. And that's what we do when we think we're doing multitasking. We're doing one thing that we jump to the other. And the reality is that our concentration, right, is really not at the same level. We're not able to achieve that state of flow where we're really working on the thing that matters when we're really in our sweet spot. And we end up being really, really depleted because we're going from one activity to the next. You know, our ability to be able to concentrate also when we're multitasking is depleted. And every time that we're multitasking and doing multiple things, we are really impacting our prefrontal cortex. It decreases the mass and weakens the prefrontal cortex. I heard this and I was like, oh my God, I really weakened my brain. So I started to, I would say maybe five, six years ago, really doing one task, one task at a time. And by the way, for that super high achiever or that person that needs to feel like they're busy and efficient, it was very challenging. I don't wanna say hard because I could do it, right? It was challenging. It was something that I needed to get used to. It was a new habit that I needed to create. And I needed to break the old habit of trying to be all over the place at one time because it's not possible. So in my business now, I do that a lot. I find that I am really focusing on one task, but all habits die hard. Sometimes I will go back to some of the other things that I used to do, wanting to do this and also have the video playing and also typing and maybe, and, and it's not going to work. So one of the things that I started to do is I started to actually batch my time. Batching my time has been one of the greatest secrets that has helped me become productive, get more things done and be successful. I also, I am able to get into that sweet spot a lot of the time when I'm writing, when I'm taking notes, when I'm practicing a speech or a speaking engagement. So time blocking is going to be very key. One of the first things that I do in creating time blocking is I create an ideal calendar. This time of year, when we're first starting the year, it's going to be important for you to take a look at all the things that are important, your priorities, what do you want to accomplish, who are you committing to? And remember that when you say yes to one thing, you're saying no to something else. So prioritize accordingly. Next, take a look at your calendar. 
and then begin to block out the times that are important to you. For me, some of the times that are important to me is that morning routine. It is also the time that I'm going to go to bed. It is the time that I want to spend with my husband. So all of these priorities that I say that are my priorities get put into the calendar first. Then I begin to put in the top priorities for my business. Number one, my CEO time, the planning time, the times in which I'm going to look at the big picture of everything. And by the way, if you're not a business owner, but you have your job, create a CEO time for yourself as well. You are the CEO of your life. So it's important to really be able to plan out, review what is coming up this week. Live by intention, not by default. And for many of us, when we're just letting things happen, then we're not intentionally living the life we desire. We wake up one day and we think, oh my gosh, what is happening? I do everything for everyone except for me. How come I don't know what to do? How come I don't love to do the different things? So. Time blocking, it is incredibly important for you to be able to do this. The other thing is that when you start to create these blocks of time for tasks that are important, that require your concentration, you're going to see that the output and the results are going to be so much better. You're going to be super proud. The other thing that I want to encourage you to is Create these blocks of time in a consistent way so that you know what's expected. For instance, for me, after I sit at my desk and review my calendar, then I start to go through some of the list of things that I need to accomplish. When I need to do writing for blogs or for articles that I'm putting out, I also have a specific time, a time that I block for that. So my friend, I want to encourage you to take a look at what an ideal calendar is. And I'm going to put one in the comments, in the notes, whether you're in YouTube or whether you are on the podcast feed. Create that intentionality. And now you're probably wondering, what does that tomato have to do with our prefrontal cortex? Really important. A tomato. There was an Italian researcher that found that when you work in batches of time, then you can actually be more alert and productive. And tomato in Italian is pomodoro. And this Italian researcher was using a tomato looking timer, a timer that looked like a tomato to create these 20 minute increments. So this is how the Pomodoro method was born. And the Pomodoro method is something that is incredibly important in my business. I have an app that actually allows me to create these time frames in which I set my timer for 20 minutes and then I go to town on a task and my town is like really going in and doing the work and focusing and being in there. When my timer goes off, then I stop and I take a five minute break, a five minute break. I stretch, I go get some tea. I maybe let the dogs out and go look at the sunshine outside if it's sunny, right? That break is incredibly important. Microsoft did a research study. And in the research study, they found that, again, in brain scans of people who go from meeting to meeting to meeting, that they're really, their connectivity of their brain is decreasing. And we don't want that. We want to be at maximum uh, performance. So to perform well, to create to cr this life that you're proud of, that you are confident that you're living in your purpose, make sure that you create the bandwidth for yourself. Stop multitasking. Pick the things that are important to you. Put them in your calendar and then create the margin so that you can get them done. All right. If this was helpful, let me know in the comments. Also, I would love it if you subscribe and share this because you know someone who probably needs to hear this as much as I needed to hear this 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And again, it would help me incredibly to be able to level up to the next level. So for you, I'd love for you to also implement either the Pomodoro method or those five minute breaks and stop multitasking and create that ideal calendar for you. Thank you, my friends. Until later, I hope you come back to for this little shot of confidence. Thanks again. Bye.
Hi, everybody. I know that sometimes we get very lonely in this entrepreneur journey, and I want to invite you to join us into our limited time only purposeful you mastermind. For many of us entrepreneurs, we believe that we can do it all. But the reality is that doing it alone only creates a lot of overwhelm. So join us at the Purposeful You Mastermind. You can find out more information by going to bit.ly forward slash Julie's Mastermind. This is going to be the place where you are able to then unlock your full potential and achieve long-term success for your business push you behind your current limits, expand your connections, discover new ideas, and implement them with confidence. You're going to get the support in all aspects and transforming you to the six-figure business you've been looking for. Pause and get off the hamster wheel if you've been spinning around. This is a time where you can get that support from like-minded entrepreneurs that are here to join you in your journey. Together, we can challenge the assumptions and land the speaking engagements and opportunities we want to grow our business and make an impact in the lives of people. See you then. Remember, you can find the mastermind at bit.ly, Julie's Mastermind.